Hello and welcome to the Dutch Inn channel. It's Wednesday the 20th of March 2024. It's roughly 10 to 9 in the morning and we're going to give out the selections for today's racing starting with Market Raisin. Now don't forget when you do a system like this Dutch Inn, we never double up because even if you're doing £10 in the first race, it becomes 20 40 80 160 even if you think, well, I'm not going to get a loser over that length of time. Trust me, you do. I've done a whole meeting before and not had a winner of seven races. So this is why I don't do it at all. So what you've got to do is stick to singles. Now today there's going to be 20 betting races. So if you imagine that you win 10 and you lose 10, you come out level which to me is a perfectly reasonable day. So all you need is to get 11 winners and nine losers, and suddenly you make two times your 50 pound stake and you've made 100 pounds for the day. Going back into yesterday, where it came down to the last race and I was 150, well, 148 pounds in profit, and the last race let me down. But if it had have won, it would have been 198 profit as opposed to 98 profit. So just getting one extra winner in a day can make all the difference. But as I said, this isn't short term and you think, well, I've lost like, we've had two losing days this month. One was 183 pounds and one was 19 pounds. So the 183, you could have quite easily have looked at it and then gone, ooh, I think I'm going to give up. But this is long term. And this isn't about just saying, well, I'll do the first five races today. This is completing the whole day of 20 races. If you've got to go out halfway through, then you may as well not do the day at all. Because I don't know what's going to win. I don't know what's going to lose. When I go back to a couple of days ago, I had the first four losers. And of course, it turns itself around during the afternoon, and then you get your winners. But you never know what race to miss. So I would advise if you're not going to do all 20 races, don't do it. But of course, you can get your own system, you know, of saying, well, I'll just do the afternoon meetings, or I'll just do the evening meetings, or I'll just do the flat, or just do the national hunt. It's whatever your preference is. So we're going to start with the two o'clock at market raising this afternoon. As I say, seven go to post for the first race. And our top selection here is super styling. Super styling. And we're going to use matchbook again because I've been through it this morning and the over round is a lot better than what Betfair is. And I prefer the style of their site as well it's easier to read and we'll we'll start now with the prices and super styling is 2.98 currently at matchbook and that 298 requires stakes of 33 pounds 56 if this is the first time you've watched the video then our maximum stake has to be 50 pounds. You have to start with your top selection and work your way down until you put all your 50 pound stakes on. Every one of them is to win, or not to win, but to return 100 pounds, except your last selection, because you're not going to be able to have the right stake on it. But I'll show you that as we go along. And just an example, if Super Styling was the win today, you would return £100. Your stake would come off that. So your profit would be £50. But on the exchanges, which is Betfair, Markets, and Matchbook and possibly a couple of others, they will take a fee stroke commission from your winnings only. So if you win £50, they will take up to 5%. Some have got deals on and... That 5% would be £2.50 from your 50 profit, not including your stake. So we go now down into our second selection, which is Bricker Dank. 
and Brickadank is showing currently at 6.4. So we would need stakes on this one of £15.63 to return £100. We've now laid out £49.18. So regardless, we've only got 82p left, and that's going to go on Zara's Universe. And that is currently 4.3 trading at matchbook so that would be our three bets in race one zara's universe it's not even worth getting with the calculator out for that one but we know it's going to be in the region of about three pound fifty if you're lucky and the other two horses which are super styling and bricker back bricker bank would return you 100 pounds now just going back into this race again you'll see at the top there that the over round figure now the over round figure basically means that if this was a complete 100 percent market that if you backed every single horse you would get the same money back that you staked then this would be on 100%. And that's why they charge up to 5%, because that's how they they get their money in. It's not the same as a normal bookmaker. And what they're charging you here is 2.4% plus your 5%. And that's how it works. So when this comes down to 101 point something, when you're doing multi-horses, this is where you need to be betting on the 101 point something so if i was having a bet in this first race today i only bet five to ten minutes before the off because you've got everybody there the liquidity would be very high and that's when it's worth betting but now unless you really fancy something and you think the price is gonna rapidly go down to half of what it is then of course by all means, then get on. Right, so that is the first race done. And now we're carrying on in Market Raisin. And the second race is the 2.30, where six go to post. And our selection here is Accelero. And Accelero, we'll click on to matchbook and Excelero is the favorite at 1.51 and as you can see again this is 102.97 this needs to come down to 101 point something for the over round figure so 1.51 would mean here that anything that you back from two and under, you can't have more than 50 pounds anyway. That would be your maximum. So that 50 would go into here like so. And that could be the only bet because we can't stake more than 50 pounds. So into the calculator. You would go 1.51, which is the matchbook price at the moment, and times that by your 50 pounds, and it would return you 75.50. So you'd win 25 pounds on that race, and they would only take their fee or commission out of the 25.50 profits. So that was a quick race to go through into race three this is the three o'clock where six go to post this time and the three o'clock on our spreadsheet gives us the form is mighty that's our number one selection so what we'll do this time is go back into matchbook we'll click on the three o'clock there and the first thing that i'll show you again 
is the liquidity of 101.45. That's ready to bet in. Because even later on, if one of these horses goes down in price, it will force another horse's price out. So you will still get the same horses, but for different money and the same way out. So the form is mighty. That's currently trading at 2.04 and would require a stake of 49 pounds and two pence. So again, because there's not many runners, the prices are always a bit shorter. And Dr. Seb will be our second selection, and it is anyway, at 3.45. So having that 98 pence on Dr. Seb is not going to make you rich, unfortunately. But again, it will return about £3 something. But we can't do anything with the last selection. You can say to yourself, oh, I'm not going to bother with that. But I always do. Because sometimes you could end up with a 25 to 1 shot there, which wins. So when we look at this, we've only got one selection in this race as well. The form is mighty. And that would return us £100. Into the next race at Market Raisin. And this is the 330. Again, another small field of five this time. And we'll go onto the spreadsheet and our top selection this time. And even though we've we've had a couple of favourites, over the period of everything I do, if you look back, I, I'm not a favourite person. Whatever the system comes out with is my top selection. You know, sometimes I can go through the card with six top selections or favourites, or they can be all outsiders. I can have 50 to one shots at the top. You just need to look back at the videos to see for yourself there. But the next, or the first selection in the 330 we've gone for here is Philippa Sue. We'll click into that race. We'll look at the over round figure quickly. 104.77. Not great. So you would need to wait a lot closer to the race to have a bet in this. Philippa Sue currently trading second favourite there at 4.7. So a stake of £21.28 will return £100. And our second selection is Pone Aminta or something to that, which is currently trading as third favourite at 6.2. And that would require stakes of £16.13 to return £100. And you can see that we've laid out £37.41. So we've got a maximum of £12.59 left. And our next selection is Flynn Tara. And Flynn Tara is the favourite here. That is at 2.7. And you'll see there that it wanted us to put £37.04 on to return 100 We haven't got that. All we've got as the third selection is £12.59. And then that's our stake of £50. So we go into Flintara where we've laid out £12.59. And we will times that by the price of 2.7 with matchbook and you'll see there that the returns would be 34 pounds roughly and there won't be any commission on that because you staked 50 and got back less than what you staked so that would still give us 34 pounds the favorite but if philippa sue or pone aminta were to win, we would return a hundred pounds. So this is the difference between dutching and just going and doing a, a, a total random bet. All right, because you've got two there. Yes, there are even money, not the prices you can see. And the favourite, well, it's better to get thirty-four pounds back than nothing. So we've sort of covered half the field there. 
Now the next race we're going to go to is the 405 and nine go in this race at Market Raisin. So again, we'll come back, go into our spreadsheet and you'll see that we've given Woody Flash as our top selection. And back into Matchbook. We'll move it on to the 405. And again, the over round here, a little bit over. You want to really, well, it's just got the 103.56, but you want to wait for that to drop to 101 point something, which will be near the off. And Woody Flash is our second in at 4.9. And the stakes there of £20.41 would return us £100. Our second selection would be Accidental Legend. An Accidental Legend is third favourite. And this is currently trading at 5.1 on Matchbook. And the stakes here would be £19.61 to return £100. And again, those two added together come to £40.02. and two pence. So we've got £9.98 left to stake. Our third selection is Halifax. And Halifax is down the other end here. That's trading at 12. Would require stakes of £8.33 to return £100. And we've got £1.65 left. And the next horse is Dilashi, something around that. And this is trading at 9.8. We can't have £10.20 on because we don't have it. And the maximum we can have is £1.65. And that's our fourth selection and last bet. So again, you'll see down there that we've staked £50. And we'll go into Delarchi. The matchbook price is 9.8. We'll times that by the £1.65 that we had left. And again, that will return us £16. Not a lot, but again, it's better than losing all 50. And Woody Flash, Accidental Legend, and Halifax, any one of those three would return us. £100. So it's good to have three against the field. And then we'll go into the 440, where as you can see, there's a few non runners in this race, but it could be due to the ground today. I know it's just been pouring a rain for the last hour where I am. So into the 440, yep, we had nine runners here, and now it's down to a field of six. So the first one we're going to take out is Jumping Jupiter. That was our third selection. Just delete them off, as you can see the way I do it. Then we've got Geordie Knight, which was my fifth selection. That's to be taken out. And the last one there was Importator, and that was my seventh selection. And that's also been taken out. So... Three, four, five, six. We make that into a six horse race. And the green box I make into six runners from nine. So our top selection in here is Billy the Real Big Red. So again, we'll go into Matchbook. And we'll go up to the 440 here. Again, you can see 102 is the over round figure, not far away from what we need it. And Billy, Billy the Real Big Red happens to be favourite here. And again, it's another bad price. This is 1.41. Maximum stakes we can have on this is £50. And there won't be another bet because of the price being evens or under. So we go £50 times 1.41, and that would return us £70.50. So yet again, it's another £20 profit to the kitty, 
if it were to win. And then the last race at Market Raisin is the 515 and all nine go to post here. And there we go, there's nine runners there in the spreadsheet. Double powerful is our top selection. Double powerful. Back into matchbook. And we'll go into the seven, uh, 1715 race there. And double powerful is favourite again. And this is 2.36. This will allow us a stake of £42.37 which means we've only got £7.63 left. Our second selection is Gentle Victor. And Gentle Victor trading at 14.5 with Matchbook. And that would require £6.90 and to return £100. And now all we've got left is 73 pence. So we will put that on... Morrow Rock, which was our third selection, and unfortunately that's only trading at 7.4. So again, that, that one there would return around £5. That would be up to you whether you do it or not. I'm just showing you this for information purposes. So our first selection, Double Powerful, which is Favourite, and Gentle Victor, are our two selections here to return £100 or Morrow Rock with a fiver. So that's the first meeting completed today. That's Market Raisin. And now we're going to move on to the second meeting, also over the jumps, and this is Haydock Park. First race there this afternoon will be the 2.15. And again, this is another meeting where there's not too many runners. So I'm sure we'll have some disappointing prices. And our top selection here would be Golden Maverick. So back in to Matchbook. And this time we'll go into Haydock. And you can see 101 already the over round, so this would be a good starting point. And Golden Maverick is the favourite at 1.76. So, as I say, another disappointing one where you can ho only have a maximum of £50 because of the price. And bring out the calculator again. 1.76 times the 50. And that would return £88. So, the, the commission for the bookmaker off of that would be off of the £38 profit. So that would be the only bet in the 215 at Haydock. And then carrying on, we'll go down to the 245 where it's getting worse. We've got four runners that go here. And our number one selection would be Glory and Honour. So back in the matchbook, into the 245, and we'll see that Glory and Honour is trading at 6.8. But the over round again is good. It's 101 there, 0.55, so that's good enough to bet with. Glory and Honour is trading at 6.8. That's our number one selection. Stakes on this are £14.71 would return £100. And our second selection will be Prairie Wolf. And Prairie Wolf is the favourite at 
and this would return, oh, sorry, this would be a stake of 39 pounds and six pence, but we've only got 35.29 in the kitty to bring that up to 50 pounds. So a stake of 39, 35 pounds 29 would be staked at odds of just over six to four at 2.56. And if Prairie Wolf was to win, it would still bring back £90. And if the top one, Glory and Honour, was to win, this would return £100. So we've near enough got two against the field there. And that is the 245 at Haydock. Then staying with Haydock, we've got the 315. We've got eight going to post for this one. And in the 315, our number one selection will be Lady Pretender. So we'll open matchbook again into the 315 this time. You can see the over round is 102.8, so it still needs to come down a little bit. And Lady Pretender is currently trading at 9.4 on matchbook. And that would require stakes of £10.64 to return £100. Our second selection will be Phone Home. And Phone Home is currently trading at 6.6 .6 on Matchbook. And that would require a stake of £15.15 £15 to return £100. And our third selection will be Poppy Rose. Now, Poppy Rose is trading currently at 12. So this would require £8.33 stakes to return £100. And those three added together so far come to £34.12, leaving us £15.88 still to spend. And we've got our full selection as Ascending Lark. And the length, Ascending Lark happens to be the favourite here at 2.88 or 15 to 8. So, yeah, that wanted 34.72. But all we've got is 15.88. So that will be the stake on Ascending Lark. And there we go. That's 50 pounds. So we bring the... I've done that right. Right, let's bring the calculator out again for Ascending Lark. The stakes of £15.88 times the SP at 288 would give us back £45. So it would be like nearly having a free bet on Ascending Lark if that one would only lose £5. But we'd have three running against the field. Lady Pretender, phone home and Poppy Rose. One of those would return £100. Then moving back into Haydock. And the 350 is the next race. Eight go to post here. And then our spreadsheet, our top selection is Atacan. That's Atacan. So we'll go back into matchbook we move into the 350 and we can see yet again that the over round figure is 102.49 that needs to come down to 101 point something and Atacan currently trading on matchbook at 13 is our top selection requires stakes of £7.69 to return £100 our second selection, Robin Dizon. And Robin Dizon, that's currently trading at 8.2. And that will return stakes. Return. That will be stakes of £12.20 to return £100. And our third selection is O'Connell. And O'Connell is second favourite. And this is trading at 5.5. 
That would require stakes of £18.18 18 to return £100. So we've done three so far. That comes to £38.07. £11.93 left. Our fourth selection is Ali Star Burt. And Ali Star Burt is third in at 7.6. That would require... Thirteen pounds and sixteen pence, and we've only got eleven pounds ninety three left in the kitty, so that will be our stake on Ali Star Burt. So we'll bring the calculator out for that one. Eleven pounds ninety three will be the stake, it will be seven point six the match. Bet for match book price, and again, this will return ninety pounds if Ali Starbert was to win, and if the other three manage it, Atacan, Robin Dizone, and O'Connell, one of those would return a hundred pounds. So you've got four there against the field, and that's a prime example of what we call Dutching, where you can back half the field, and you've got them all running for you. So now we're going to move into the next race at Haydock. This is the 4.25. Eight again go to post here. So a bit of a better field. And our number one selection is Better Get Along. And yet again we'll go into Matchbook. Into the 4.25. You can see again 101.26 is a perfect over round. And our top selection, Better Get Along, is currently trading on Matchbook at 14. So that would require stakes of £7.14 to return £100. Our second selection is Yeeland. And Yeeland. This is second favourite at the moment, trading at 3.8. That would require stakes of £26.32 to return £100. And our third selection is Largy Shark. Largy Shark is third in at 7.6. And that would require stakes of £13.16 to return £100, and we've laid out £46.62, that leaves us £3.38, and our full selection is Glen, Glen Cannell, or Cannell, and this is currently trading at 8.4 on Matchbook. So again, we can't put the full amount of money on, and that left us £3.38. And that was the stakes of £50. So we'll go back to Glen Cannell and we'll see that the price on Matchbook was 8.4. And we'll times that by £3.38 that we had left. And that gives us £28. So again, Glen Cannell would return us over half our stake, £28, which would still be OK because we've got another three running for us. Better get along, Yeeland and Largy Shark. One of those three would return £100. As I say Glen Cannell would return £28. And then we'll be going down to the final race where there are now nine runners going to post and Chris Cool is the non-runner in the five o'clock. So into the spreadsheet, I'd already done that one. That must have come in last night. And our number one selection here is President Scotty. So into Matchbook into the five o'clock 
and 105 is the overall figure here, so it's not good at all, really. You'd have to wait closer to the race. President Scotty is the favourite. That's currently trading at 3.55. Stakes of £28.17. pence Would return £100. And North Parade is our second selection. And it is the second selection as well. This is trading at 5 which means we would need stakes of £20 to return £100. We've laid out £48.17 in those two, leaving us £1.83 left. And our third selection is hashtag boom. And hashtag boom is third in at 7.4. And as I say, there's only going to be movement there for £1.83. And that will be a stake of £50 laid out. So we'll go into hashtag boom. We'll see that it was 7.4 matchbook. We times that by the £1.83 that we have left. And then that would mean that we would return around £13.00. If hashtag boom was the win, which would be better than nothing. And our top two selections, President Scotty and North Parade, one of those two would return £100. So that was the last race at Haydock. And then we've got one more meeting left today. That's going to be the all-weather meeting at Southall or Southwell, whichever you prefer. And that begins at 5.30. And there's a non-runner in this one as well, leaving seven. So let's have a look at what I've got here. Yep, we'll need that one. So it is Trevanion. That's the one that's going to be a non-runner. This was my third selection. So we'll take that out. And our top selection in this race at Southall will be Cogitate. Go back into Matchbook. Go into the first race at Southall. And Cogitate here is currently trading at 3.9. So that would require a stake of £25.64 to return £100. And Knight Raider, which is currently the favourite, and this is only about in the first 10 of the 2,000 guineas betting, and about 20 to 1. So we'll see how that runs tonight. We'll see how impressive it turns out to be. And the most we can afford on this one would be £24.36 to bring those stakes up to £50. So get the calculator out again. The price at Matchbook is currently 1.38 times £24.36. And that would return us £33. So, again, it's better to lose a little bit on the favourite winning at £33 return. But Cogitate, if that was to win, would return us £100. Moving into the second race at Southall, this is the 6 o'clock, 7 go to post here. And our top selection is Memo. So it's Memo in the second at Southall. And what I forgot to tell you in that last race was the over round was 102. 
So a little way to go down, not a lot though. And the six o'clock here, we'll do the over round while I remember, which is 102 again. So a little bit to go down, but that's because we're currently at half past nine in the morning and these don't kick off to the afternoon or late afternoon going into the evening, I should have said. Right, Memo currently trading on Matchbook at 8.4. Would require stakes of £11.90 to return £100. Our second selection is Masterclass. And Masterclass is third in there at 5.1. This would require stakes of £19.61 to return £100. And our third selection would be Beneficiary. This is the Outsider. That's currently 17 and would require stakes of £5.88. So far with those three, we've laid out £37.39. So we've got £12.61 left. And Beneficiary, of course, with the £5.88 would return £100. And our fourth selection is Jean's Mate. Jean's Mate is currently favourite at 3.5. So that would have required somewhere around £28. But all we've got is £12.61. So that will be our stake for Jean's Mate. Calculator again. £12.61 times those odds of 3.5 would return £44. So, again, Jean's mate would return £44. Just a £6 loss if we were to have that win. And the three that are going to return £100 if one of them wins would be Memo, Masterclass and Beneficiary. So again, we've got three full ones against the field there and one close to our money back. Right, now we'll go into the 6.30 at Suddle. Nine go to post for this one. And on our spreadsheet, our top selection is My Chiquita. So My Chiquita... We'll go back into Matchbook, click on the 6.30, we'll have a quick look here at the over round, which is 103, so a little way to go down. And our top selection, My Chiquita, that is currently trading at 16. That would require stakes of £6.25 to return £100. Our second selection is Ponzaleus, and that is currently trading at 6.4. So stakes there of £15.63 would return £100. Our third selection is Caldwell, and Caldwell is trading at 9.8 currently on Matchbook. And the stakes there would require £10.20 to return £100. Now those three added up so far have come to £32.08. And that leaves £17.92. And our fourth selection is Eagles Round. And Eagles Round is currently second favourite at 5.6. So we would need stakes on that at £17.86. And we can do that with six pence over. And I'm not going to say to anybody put that six pence on anything. But you can always guess where it would have to go. And it would have to go on the favourite at 3.5. But again, just for information purposes, just so I can fill the £50 up. That's what would happen there. So I'm not going to bother reading that one out because, or even working it out. Because it's, it's only going to be 20, 21 pence. So the four that we've got running for us here, and again, not far off half the field, 
We've got My Chiquita, Ponzalius, Caldwell, and Eagles Realm. One of those four wins, and there's a return there of £100. Now we go back into Southall again, this time into the 7 o'clock, where all 12 go to post at the moment. And the 7 o'clock, my top selection is AAB. So we'll go back to Matchbook. And click on the 7 o'clock. And AAB is, let's have a look at the over round before I forget, 103. I think we're going to find they're all going to be around that until you get nearer the time. But AAB is favourite here. This is currently 3.95 on Matchbook. And stakes of £25.32 would return you £100. Second, we've got Isle of Sark. And that is second favourite. That's currently 4.7. And would require stakes of £21.28 to return £100. And we've only got £3.41 left. And our third selection is Mass Cool. And Mass Cool, that is currently 16. And we know that we can only afford. What was it? Let's have a look. £3.41 on that to bring our stakes to £50. Always need to bring it to 50 whatever the stake on that last one there. If it's under what it should be. So, Mass School is 16 on Matchbook times 3.41 with the maximum amount allowed. And that would give us back £54. So, it would basically be a free bet. So, if that one we would get paid out with our money back. But we would have AAB and Isle of Sark, the first two in the betting, running for us to return £100. And now back into Southall. But this time it's the... I'm sure that was the one we just done, right? Yep, it's the 7.30, the next race. Nine go to post here. And into the 7.30, my favourite or my top selection is King of York. So back to Matchbook. Into the 7.30. And we can see again that the over round is 104. So that needs to come down before you bet. King of York, 5.4. Is the trading price and the stakes of £18.52 would return £100. And the second selection is Berkshire Phantom, which is currently favourite at 3.3. And a stake here of £30.30 30 would return £100. Those two added together is £48.82. And we've only got one pound and eighteen pence left. And our third selection is David's Diva. And David's Diva is third in the betting at eight point six. And that will be our third and final bet in the seven thirty. So the first one we're going to work out is David's Diva. We saw that the price there, which I think that's got more chance of being 8.8. .8. Oh no, it was 8.6. So the price there of 8.6 times the money that we had left of £1.18. pence would give us back £10, which again, I always say is better than nothing. And our top two selections 
King of York and Berkshire Phantom, one of those two would return us £100. So moving now into the penultimate race of the evening, the 8 o'clock at Southall, we've got 11 going to post for this one. And onto my spreadsheet, and I've given Tillsworth only tar as the top selection here. So back into matchbook, we'll see in the eight o'clock. The over round is a bit worse, it's 105. And we'll have a look here. And Tillsworth only tar is currently 17.5. And the stakes of £5.71 would return £100. Then we want our Lekino's gift, which is trading there at 13.5. And stakes of £7.41 would return us £100. And our third selection, top time. Top time is currently 4.7 on matchbook and would require stakes of £21.28 to return £100. So far we've staked 34.40 and we got £15.60 left. And our fourth selection is Miss Moonshine. And Miss Moonshine, this is currently 12.5 and would require stakes of £8 to return £100. And we've now got £7.60 left. And our fifth selection is May Remain. May Remain, there we go, currently 9 Would have needed £11.11, and £11, but as I said, we didn't have that left. We've got £7.60. So we'll put the £7.60 on, and that would bring that round to £50 stake. So we'll go back into May Remain. The stake here of £7.60, and we would times that by the matchbook price of 9 This would give us £68 in return if that was the win. So it still would be a profit. And the other four that would be running for us would be Tillsworth, Only Tar, Arlecchino's Gift, Top Time and Miss Moonshine. One of those four would return £100. And we're now going to move into the last race, our 20th race for betting in. And the last race at Southall. There's now 10 going to post as Larado is a non-runner. So we'll go back into our 20th race. And Larado would have been my fourth selection there. So I'm going to wipe that one out first. Right, that's done. And our top selection here is Mock to Saab. So we'll go back into Matchbook for the final time as well. And this is the 8.30. Again, you'll see that the over round there, 104, is too high. And our top selection, Mock to Saab, is currently showing at 7.6. So this would require stakes of £13.16 pence to return £100. And our second selection is Endless Power, which is currently 5.3. This is the favourite. And stakes of £18.87 would return £100. And our third selection, Visibility. And Visibility, this is third favourite at the moment, at 6.8. And this would require £14.71. Let's just make sure we've got that. 
Yes, we have. So £14.71. Stakes on visibility would return us £100. And this would now leave £3.27. And our full selection would be Master of Combat. And Master of Combat is currently trading at 9.4. So that money would go on Master of Combat. And you can see there again, that's £50 staked in this race. We've got the £3.27 that we had left. We'll times that by the 9.4 price on Matchbook. And if Master of Combat was to win, it would return us £30. Better than all of the money gone. And our top three running for us are Mokta Saab, Endless Power and Visibility. And they would return £100. So that's the 20 races that we're going to be gambling, if you like, in today. Going to do a recap in the first, the two o'clock at Market Raisin, Super Styling and Brickadank will return £100. Zara's Universe will be the odd bit. The 2.30 at Market Raisin, Excelero would be the only bet. The three o'clock at Market Raisin, the form is mighty, would return £100. And Dr. Seb would give you the odd bit. The 3.30 at Market Raisin. Philippa Sue and Pogue Aminta would return £100. And Flintara would be the rest. Uh, the 4.05 Market Raisin. Woody Flash. Accidental Legend. Halifax. One of those three would return £100. And Delarchi would be the rest. Then into the 440 at Market Raisin, there's only one selection here. Billy the Real Big Red. In the 515 at Market Raisin, Double Powerful Gentle Victor would return £100. And Morrow Rock would just give you the odd bit. Then into the 215 at Haydock, Golden Maverick would be the only bet here. In the 245 at Haydock, Glory and Honour would return £100, and Prairie Wolf would return the rest. Um, Haydock 315, Lady Pretender, Phone Home, Poppy Rose, one of those three would return 100 and Ascending Lark would be the rest. Then into the 350 at Haydock, Atacan, Robin Dizone, O'Connell would return £100. And Ali Star Burt would be the odd bit. Haydock, 425. Better Get Along, Yeeland and Largy Shark. One of those three would return £100. And Glenn Cannell, the rest. Then we got the 5 o'clock at Haydock. President Scotty and North Parade would return £100. Hashtag boom the odd. Then into the 5.30 at Southall. Cogitate would return £100. Night Raider would be the rest. The 6 o'clock at Southall. Memo, Masterclass and Beneficiary. And the odd bit would be for Jean's mate. Into the 6.30 you've got My Chiquita. Ponzalaeus, Caldwell, Eagles Realm, one of those would return 100, and you, Pepo, would return your 21 pence. I wouldn't even worry about that. Then in the 7 o'clock at Southall, you've got Ayab and Isle of Sark that would return 100 pounds, and Maskell would be the odd. Then in the 7.30, you've got King of York and Berkshire Phantom. One of those would return £100. And David Steve the rest. The 8 o'clock, Tillsworth Only Tar. Arlecchino's Gift, Top Time and Miss Moonshine. One of those four would return £100. And the rest from May Remain. And the final race 
The 830 at Southall, Mokhtar Saab, Endless Power, Visibility, one of these three would return £100, and Master of Combat would be the rest. So, let's hope that we can all get a profitable day again, and after all the racing tonight, I will be uploading the results show, win or lose, we'll go through it all again. And if you want to watch any of these races, I will be uploading all of them roughly 10 minutes after they've run. So you'll be able to watch all those on my site at some point, or you can go back to yesterday's race and it's all uploaded on YouTube for you. And other than that, have a good betting day and we'll catch up tonight. Thanks for watching.